Elon Musk just revolutionized everything, making things like sword art online viable in real life a lot sooner than we imagined. Make sure you completely smash that like button on your way, and let's get started. Elon Musk's company Neuralink, which he also owns, hosted their greatest show-and-tell event to date in order to inform the public about their brain-reading technology. But this time, we received some of the craziest news we've ever heard. The current objective of Neuralink is to develop a tool that can be incorporated into the brain and used to operate a computer entirely by thought. What? What the f And Musk had said that the company was testing the technology on Monkey's Pack in 2019, even recently displaying a video of one of them utilizing only its brain to play Pong. But Neuralink is now ready to move it to the next level. So let's explore it. The fact that they intend to implant these gadgets into real humans over the next six months was undoubtedly one of the event's most significant statements. Elon even claimed that he will soon have the technology installed in his own head. And he said during the presentation that the majority of the paperwork required for human clinical trials has already been submitted by the company. And even though he had planned to begin them more than two years ago, it still seems unbelievable to know that they will take place in the next six months. However, Elon Musk went significantly further, particularly when he began to discuss the potential applications of these neurological implants. Because of how close it is to what we see in Dot .hack and Sword Art Online, these tiny implants will be able to read and send signals that are coming from your brain. Elon Musk, however, claimed that Neuralink might restore vision even in those who were born blind, which is what makes it so unique. Additionally, the developer is sure that serious spinal cord injuries can be healed completely using the Neuralink device, making it capable of so much more than just being an input device. It almost sounds like science fiction to let people with genuine medical problems eventually see or move again. But first, let's take a closer look at how these chips operate. Elon Musk specifically said that all future implants will be upgradable, which is one of the most significant points. As he mentioned in the following statement, Upgradability is very important because our first production device will be much like an iPhone 1 and pretty sure you would not want an iPhone 1 stuck in your head if an iPhone 14 is available. Due to the fact that the Neuralink implant itself is known as the N1, this would enable the continuous development of better chipsets as technology improved. Having a total size that is roughly the size of a quarter, it's not simple to process that information though and must be performed by the R1, a highly specialized and unique surgical robot, along with a live demonstration of a chip being installed in a dummy that you can see on the screen right now. They announced that they now have their own double operating room, and this was immediately followed by that. A whole clinic of their own one day, according to the company's future ambitions. Moreover, since the battery was upgraded last year and can now also be charged wirelessly, we also got some information on how this brain gadget is charged. As shown in a presentation where monkeys with these brain implants were wirelessly charging them and enjoying a delicious banana smoothie at the same time. When we discuss the Neuralink software, however, things become a little more challenging. Because although the speed and precision have improved at this time, only the brain implant can be used to move a pointer. They are currently working on a keyboard interface interaction because there is still a long way to go. Even demonstrating a monkey that could type on a keyboard just with its brain. But one of the most fascinating subjects was perhaps regarding their upcoming next generation implants. Because these chips are able to send messages directly to the brain, in addition to reading. And with their initial human experiments inside, as was previously indicated, this might have massive implications in the medical industry. These improvements will advance even more quickly. Despite this, it may soon be expanded to the general public, which could signal that you would be able to operate your phone or computer simply by thinking about it. Nice. Despite the fact that this is utterly absurd, 
It resembles concepts from Sword Art Online quite a bit, where the leading characters experience virtual reality as if it were real life by using full drive nerve gear that reads and sends signals directly to the brain. With the greatest difference being that an SEO player's ability to roam about freely is fully restricted. Aside from gaming, this technology has absolutely incredible potential, but it also raises some serious ethical issues given that implanting a chip inside your own brain would need surgery. Thanks to Elon Musk's substantial financial resources, this crazy technology is now only possible in parts. However, this does not imply that he is the only company making an effort to do so. Meta and Valve are only two examples of those that have attempted to develop brain-computer interfaces that work with VR headsets. Take the Galia headset which was developed in partnership with Varho and OpenBCI. This completely bizarre technology was capable of reading brain signals and converting them into orders for virtual reality. In contrast to Sword Art Online, this VR headgear was unable to send signals back to the brain or turn off the body's motor functions. What is by far its strongest feature is, it did not require any implants and was entirely developed inside the VR headset. All it could do was use your thoughts as inputs to replace your controls. However, the fact that it was priced ridiculously added to the list of problems making it virtually unaffordable for any typical buyer. When a player is wearing Sword Art Online, the headset may directly excite all of their senses, making it nearly impossible to tell the difference between the actual world and the virtual one. But unfortunately, we have not yet made a breakthrough in understanding how to achieve this without physically entering the brain, even alone making it available to customers. However, this was just one of the many projects that were active at that time. But the majority of these projects were either abandoned altogether or carried out in an extremely restricted, behind-the-scenes manner. Moreover, since there is still a great deal about the brain that we do not understand, the only method to actually access it at this time is by stimulating it directly with implants. But one of the main reasons Elon Musk held this event was to find new employees. He especially wanted to find people with experience in advanced devices, technology, or the medical field. This type of hiring is becoming more common, as Meta is now offering $45,000 to anyone who can hack its VR headset. Most of the time, these things are done to make hardware more secure or to get more people to work for that company. But this is done to the robot bounty program in the case of Meta. So if you're very good at taking advantage of bugs in VR software, you could actually make a living from it. Not only that, but almost every big company that tries to do this ends up failing. They meet one of the most talented people because of these big awards. And to make the deal even better, they also get a chance to fix their own security. This is exactly what Elon Musk wants to do. And he is trying to do it with his big money. We need to push the limits of what is possible and hire some of the smartest people in the world at the same time if we want to make technological advances we could only dream of before. But that doesn't answer the question of whether or not it will be possible in the future to get one of these implants and control all the electronic devices around you and much more. Would you really follow along? Tell me that in the comments below. But it does mean that if we really want to get into the world of sword art online, We'll have to wait a little longer. But with these huge announcements, it could happen much sooner than most of us imagined. But we had even more crazy VR news. So make sure you don't miss it by clicking on the video you see on the screen right now. And of course, stay awesome.